What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. John Boy here. So great to see you. Did you know I have a second channel? I did mention it in my previous video. Not sure if I've seen that, but if you haven't, I'm having a good time over there. You know, it's called John Boy's Adventures. Links in the description below. Check it out. It's full of vlogs and good stuff, adventures and having a good time. Exploring with my friends in Florida, watching some rocket launches and just enjoying life. It's a good time to be had. Sean Brooks explaining some simple ass sunglasses. Take two. It is hot as bulls out here. What's so, Danny? Why, why did you crash into the car in front of you? Well, officer, we were recording. <laughs> <laughs> that was so loud. Police are coming, taking drop footage over, over a restricted area. They told me to come get you before you got around. We're number one. <laughs> But today, we are talking about the Peak Design Travel Tripod. This thing, in my opinion, is one of the best tripods on the market. So if you're thinking about upgrading your current tripod or you're a traveler, filmmaker, photographer looking for a specific tripod that is nice and small, compact, lightweight, and does all the jobs that you need it to, then this video is for you. So about 18 months ago, I started doing a lot of research on a bunch of different tripods and what would work for me best. Uh, being as I am a traveler and I need something that is super compact, lightweight, but also does the job that I need it to. So I need it to hold up to a decent amount of weight because I have a full frame camera and a bunch of lenses. And as you know, that does weigh down once you start building that up. So I wanted to make sure that the ball head on the tripod I chose could cope with that weight. Also, I needed it to be super compact because I travel with it all the time. This thing pretty much lives in my camera bag. So when I'm actually on the plane, I don't want some big chunky thing that's gonna get in the way because I wouldn't wanna put this obviously in the hold luggage because it's gonna then add to my weight in the hold. And nine times out of 10, they don't actually weigh your carry-on luggage, so you're kind of all right. So the best feature about this tripod that I genuinely love is the size. It is literally the size of a water bottle. It's tiny. Um, this thing is super, super compact. And when it actually goes in your travel bag, so let me grab my... Oh! I'm gonna grab my camera bag here. So this is my travel camera bag. I can literally just put it in the side pouch here, put my strap across and you're done. And it's super, super compact. As you can see, like it takes up no room at all. They actually do two versions of this tripod. They do the aluminium version and the carbon fiber version. The aluminium version will run you around $380, whereas the carbon fiber version is almost double that at about $650. One of the other features that I love about this tripod is the fact that you can use the anchor links um, that Peak Design have on their website. Uh, I have these for pretty much all my gear. I use them for my camera bodies and a bunch of other things as well. But you can fit the anchor links to the actual inside of the tripod here so is that um, you can actually fit a camera strap. So if you put one here and you put one on the, uh, the anchor point below, you can then actually attach just a camera strap to this and you can have it on your back and just literally walk around, obviously. Say you pull up somewhere and you're going to do some photography that's like a quarter of a mile from where you've parked, you can literally just connect this up with your camera strap, put it on your back, hold your camera and walk to your location and you don't even need to take a camera bag, which is super cool. Leaving you hands free to use your camera um, freehand and then just grab your tripod, set up wherever you are. And yeah, it's just one of those cool features that is, um, is just appreciated. The guys over at Peak Design have really taken their time to think about what a photographer, creator, filmmaker needs out of a tripod when they were designing this thing. A lot of thought has gone into it. I think it was over four years in the design process to actually come up with the concept for this and then actually get it uh, manufactured and put out there. And I can see why, like this thing really is, it's almost like a piece of art. The actual packaging that this thing comes in is uh, pretty incredible as well. Um, it does come in this little pouch here, which is uh, which is a nice little pouch. I don't actually use this. Um, I always carry it with me in my uh, in my hold luggage, so as that I've always got it if I need to just store it away if I'm not going to use it for a few weeks. Um, but 90% of the time, the tripod will just live like this on the side of my camera bag. So probably the biggest thing I love about this tripod is the actual uh, quality of it, the actual machining, like the bull head here. 
it's just super tactile it's really nice to use you've got the ball head here which obviously moves around in all locations that you would ever need and then you've got your quick release plate up the top as well which utilizes the standard plates that come with the Peak Design Creepature clip it's just really nice really nice quality they really thought about the design here and the actual legs they lock out here but what you can do is you can press this button here so if you move them in ever so slightly press this little lever down then you can actually extend these all the way out which enables you to then <laughs> you can then extend this all the way up and then you've got low shooting mode so if you're on the ground and you want to get a really low shot of something you can then put this dead on the ground and your camera sits on the top and it enables you to get nice and low to the ground obviously you can even wind that down probably a little bit further to about there so that's that's literally about eight inches above the ground which is super cool another feature i absolutely love with this tripod is this leak secret little uh compartment here which if you just uh i think you just pull this down like this twist and pull that out then in the bottom here let me put that down in the bottom here you've actually got a little mobile phone stand which is uh expandable depending on what phone you have so with this little phone stand you can literally just clip this under the ball head like that lock it in place so as that it doesn't move and then you can insert your phone into the top so if you wanted to go shooting on your phone you just stick your phone in like that and voila that's um that's been thought about and i appreciate small little touches like that Boop. Now it's just a really nice touch having that tucked away like that. And what also surprises me is how much weight this thing takes. Um, I can hang a fully loaded camera bag on this hook at the bottom here, which is super cool because if you're in a windy location and you need to weigh this tripod down, having that hook at the bottom there, being able to hang your camera bag on the bottom of this hook is super handy. I love the little details like this as well. Let me just uh, zoom in here a second. Look at the little mobile phone laser etched on the tripod. Like that's, it's little details like this, which I really appreciate. You've also got this really nice detailing just on the inside of the leg as well, which is, um, it's small little touches like this, which just make the product for me. Super quick and easy to put up as well. Literally just undo all the tabs around the tripod like you would any other tripod. And uh, voila. it's all the little features as well like just having the button pop out there and push back in like pulling this out being able to unlock that moving your tripod ball head up to where you need it locking that back in place and then pushing the button down like it's it's small little things like that that i really appreciate that time has just gone into it it's just so nice to use i just love it you've also got the little spirit level on the top there so you can actually uh, get the tripod level wherever you are and these little locking uh, these little locking screws which just prevent your camera slipping out either side um, they can actually be taken out if you need to if you have a larger plate which needs to fit in here so they can be unscrewed and I think it obviously shows and you can obviously tell uh, you know from the pictures and stuff online but this is just it's so well machined it's just such a nice uh, feeling tripod you also get a couple of tools so you can carry out the maintenance on your tripod and uh, I especially love this little allen key just the way in which that locks out there uh, so again it works the other way so you can literally just go out like this and you just got that nice little leverage point something i've always uh, hex keys allen keys whatever you want to call them something that's always been a pain for me is uh, not having any leverage on the end really when you're using an allen key and sometimes the ones that are included with these kind of things are just really poor design but being able to lock that out and then get a good leverage on there to tighten up the tripod is um is super cool it's just a really nice little tool that you can uh, put in your camera bag and use to tighten up that tripod and do your general maintenance. Speaking of camera tools, something very exciting on the way in a couple of weeks time, so look out for that. <laughs>
And that's pretty much it from me guys. I hope you found that video useful. Um, like I say, the aluminium version of this tripod runs around $380 on the Peak Design website. Um, me personally, like if you're gonna be doing a lot of filmmaking, photography, general creative work, and a tripod is something that you are going to be using on a daily basis, um, I cannot reckon I recommend, I'm gonna start that again. I cannot recommend this tripod enough. This is not a sponsored video, but me personally, I always will stand behind products that uh, I'm passionate about, that are high quality and do a great job, and this is one of those products. Absolutely love it. Thank you, Peak Design, for creating an amazing tripod and always keeping my camera stable. That's it from me guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd be grateful if you leave a thumbs up below, it really helps me out. Subscribe if you aren't already and hit the bell so you get notified when I post new videos. Don't forget to check out my new channel, John Boy's Adventures, that's linked below as well. And if you are someone who is thinking about the Peak Design tripod or you've recently bought one, I'd love to know your comments and thoughts around it as well. Uh, leave them in the comments below, that'd be cool. And I will see you guys on the next video.